Hello, everybody. My name is Ricardo Garcia. I am principal mining advisor at Rio Tinto Technology and Innovation, Salt Lake City. Uh, and together with Bob Fanning, we developed this concept to include non-uniform variable external cost in your pit optimization. So let's begin with the concept. Pit optimization considers only cost internal to the deposit. For the optimization routines, are also include costs associated with major equipment and plant expansions. But the routines overlook external costs. For example, if a dam rehandle is required honoring a standard offset, this external tons rehandle will be overlooked by the LG or the floating cone. If a main construction outside of the pit has to be removed or construct, these costs will be overlooked as well. So in our experience, in this kind of projects, sizing the pit and then determining the impact on the value of the external cost was the wrong approach. The absence of external cost optimized pit shells was a deficiency identified by the mine engineering reviewers conducting due diligence reviews in support of a project investment decision. So here is our case study to prove our concept. Due to the confidentiality of the information for our business partners, partners and clients, we were not allowed to use a real project. So we decided with Bob to use a sample project, the Mintech sample project that is used for training. So we are using all the assumptions in that project, the geology, the topography, and the economic inputs. And we just modify slightly the, the topography of the waste dump. So the case of this study will be an open pit resource that is surrounded by a waste dump from prior open pits. Uh, the waste dump will be partially inside the crest limit of the ultimate pit. And the uh, geotechnical standard states that no dump should be located inside 200 meters of the open pit crest. So with this problem, usually we can face the, the study by evaluating two cases, basically. The first case will be to mine all the reserves that the LG or the floating cone shows us with the economical assumptions and all the inputs, and then rehandle all the material that is inside the, the open pit. The, the second option will be to honor the dump and mine just the reserves that are included 200 meters from the offset of the dump toll. So here are the assumptions of the project. It's a moly copper project. Um, we're going to have six ore types and two processes mill and leach. Three types will go to the mill concentrator. One type will go to the leach pad. And two types will go to the mill or the leach, depending on the economics of the, of the block. So you can see in, in this picture the current situation. That is the configuration of the waste dump that is located around the, the pit, the open pit or the deposit. The, the red line shows the, the limit of the pit optimization unconstrained by the dump toe. And the blue line shows the 200 meters offset that has to be respected for the geotechnical standard. 
So you can see that the dump is inside of that offset and um, parts of the north part is inside of the open pit. So here is the solution one that we described. We're gonna go up to the end of the pit limit and we're gonna rehandle all the material that is inside the 200 meters geotechnical offset. So you can see that it's not unconstrained at all and we are mining all the reserves. So the economics of, of this solution will be mill value $2.3 billion, the leach value 49 million, the waste cost 500 million, and the rehandle associated with this pit optimization will be $207 million, assuming a $1 unit cost for rehandle. The total value of, of this project with the rehandle and the value of the oil reserves will be $1.7 billion. So now you see the configuration of the second solution. The second solution is the not aggressive solution, just mining the reserves up to the 200 limit offset. So you can see that the dam is untouched at all and the pit is constrained by the, the pit expansion is constrained by the 200 limit offset. The economics of this solution is 1.3 billion for the mill value. The leach value is 25 million and the waste cost is 213 million. For, for this solution, there is no cost associated with rehandle because the 200 meter is, is honored. The total value of this project, not doing any rehandle, is $1.08 billion. So what is the conclusion with these two cases evaluated for the, to, to mine the pit reserves? The first solution, the aggressive one, when we deplete all the reserves and do all the rehandle required, the value of the project is 1.7 billion. And the second solution is that the not aggressive solution is just to mine the material that is outside of the 200 meter offset. The value is 1.08 billion dollars. So the, the conclusion with these two answers will be to mine the deposit up to the ultimate pit I rehandled all the material required. So the questions will arise for a tech review. Is this, just this analysis is strong enough to support the decision? Are there more combinations or solutions for this exercise? Um, the final one and the real question for this exercise is there a way to inform the pit optimization, the routines of pit optimization about the external costs to optimize the combination of all reserves mining and waste rehandle? We think that the previous analysis cannot support the case in a technical review and were not supported in, in many cases in, in Rio. The case study will have many solutions more profitable than case one. Current pit optimization procedures doesn't allow the LG routine or any optimization routine to include external costs in the calculation. So the optimum solution. The previous analysis cannot support the case in a Rio Tinto tech review. And we intuitively think that there are more combinations of all reserve mining a rehandled cost that should be more profitable than the combination of solution one. That is the mining, the 100% mining of the reserves and the rehandled of, of the material required. The solution must be a procedure where the LG routine is informed about the potential variable external cost while evaluating a specific block for inclusion in the LG pit shell. The following is the solution that is currently applied in Rio Tinto for these cases of external costs impacting the pit size. So the first step, the first step is to prepare the surface file. So 
basically what we do here is the grid surface file. We choose which blocks will be the candidates to receive the rehandled cost. And we create a limit around the, the dump in this case. So all the red blocks are here, the candidates to receive the rehandled cost. And the blue ones will not have a rehandled cost at all. So this, this item added to the file 13 will be the rehandled cost, the RH possibility one, that is, is possible to receive rehandle. The next step will be the polar transformation calculation. So to do this, previous to our Excel spreadsheet model, we define the centroid of our system. Basically, we know what is the centroid of, of the pit. We know where is the dump, and we define our, our centroid of all the system. Um, this centroid will be used as a reference point to calculate the polar transformations in our spreadsheet. For, for this case, for the purpose of this study, we're going to have a, a fixed crest elevation. You can see that the elevation of the dam is, is fixed at the crest. So here is the way we calculate the dam height and the handle width. The dam height variable, defined as H dump, will be calculated in the polar transformation spreadsheet. B is the cell size, or the size of the block in the model. And the rehandle width is the item W dump that will be calculated by a simple geometric calculation, that is radius 2 divided by radius 1 times the block size. So these are, this is a sample, a sample of the data for the, our polar transformation. So these are the input data that comes from 513. So basically, it's the 513 downloaded with the east and north elevation and the variable topoc, that is the elevation of the surface, and the item RH, that is our rehandle. So all these blocks are candidates to receive the rehandle cost. With this information, we go to our calculations to transform the information for file 13 to be ready to upload in the file 15, the block model. So the first five columns show the transformation to the column row and bench and the height in the, in the block position. The next four columns shows the column row and bench again, but that is in the position of the toe dump, and it's calculated the height in that position. The next four columns in the spreadsheet um, is calculated with the 200 meters offset plus half of the height in the slope. So now we are in the, in the centroid of the slice rehandle, and we can calculate the width of the dump rehandle. So finally, with this with all these calculations in this spreadsheet, we calculate in the height and the width of the rehandle to be loaded in the file 15. So here is the, the output data for file 15. This is what we're going to load in the file 15. You're going to see in the first, the first line the column, then the row, the bench, and here are the, the new items created, the H dump, and the width dump, that is the height of the dump and the width of the dump in the slice or handle. Okay, after we finish all the polar transformations, we go to the third step. So the, the colors in this slide are really irrelevant. This is just showing all the blocks that has the potential rehandle cost if the pit expand up to that point. So these are all the blocks in the file 15 that has the item height of the dump, H dump, 
and width of the dump, W dump, and are included in the file 15. So all these informations, all, all these blocks has the information to calculate the rehandle cost with a 200 meter offset condition from Geotech. The next step will be to calculate the rehandle cost and include this external cost in the block value. So the variable RHCST is the rehandle cost. And that cost in each block will be calculated by the width dump, W dump, plus the height dump, H dump, times the block size, times the unit cost of the rehandle. So this rehandle cost will be included in the original block value. So the new value of the block will be the variable BBKRH that will be the original block value plus the rehandle cost or, or the negative rehandle cost. So the final step here is to optimize, to do the pit optimization with the variable BBKRH that includes the rehandle cost. So you can see again the configuration of the dump in this slide. The red line is the final pit crest with the value of the blocks informed, informed by the rehandle. And the blue line is the 200 meters offset required by geotech standards. So this will be the final configuration of the pit optimization and the, and the dump. So all the material that is inside the 200 meter offset is, re is removed and, and accommodated in a, new, in, a, in a new place. The total rehandle for this pit optimization will be 138 million tons. That means in cost $138 million with the $1 assumption for rehandle cost. So let's look at the economics of this solution. The mill value for this solution is 2.2 billion, so we're gonna have uh, less reserves for the mill, comparing with the solution one. The leach value is 46 million, and the waste cost is 403 million. The rehandle associated with the pit is 138 million. So the value of this project including the reserve mining of, of, of this optimization plus the rehandle associated is $1.7 billion. So to make the solution graphic, this is a, this is a plan view of the three pit shells. The green pit shell is the solution one that depletes all the ore reserves up to the final pit limit and rehandle all the material required. The red line shows the pit shell constrained by the dump toe. And the solution, the optimum solution, is the yellow line. So ba basically what is showing this, this, this graphic is that the optimum solution wants to expand outside of the not aggressive pit. And then he finds that up to this, in this portion, this, this portion of the solution is uneconomical. So the optimized pit in form with the external cost wants to stop here. So here shows the value of the, of the three projects. The, the red column is the pit unconstrained, but it's $1.68 billion. The, Yellow column is the pit constrained by the dump toll with $1.08 billion. And our optimum solution is the blue column with $1.69 billion. So here we can see the conclusions. Um, probably the value increase or the value protected here is not too big. This is just 12 million difference between the aggressive solution and the optimum. 
But believe me that we have many projects in Rio Tinto where the range of value protected by doing these exercises in the range of a hundred of millions of dollars. Uh, this, this concept we used in, in many cases, but can be used basically for facilities and structures that have to be located around the pit rim. We can talk about leach pad relocations, a highway relocation, river diversions, or, or a waste stockpile rehandle as this case, that is driven by a specific geotechnical offset. Thank you.